Barbie Thumbelina, adapted by Diane Wright Lamptford, based on the original screenplay by Elise Allen, illustrated by Ulkate Design Group and Alan Choi. Thumbelina is tiny. She made wings. Her best friends, Clarissa and Janessa, watch her fly. They are twiller bees. They all live in a big field. The three friends try out their wings. Then they hear a rumble. It is humans. Humans are coming with their big trucks. In one truck rides a spoiled girl named Makina. I want those flowers, she tells her parents. As the friends watch, a bulldozer comes close. They need to hide. When they come out, they are in a huge bedroom. It is Makina's room. Makina says her parents will dig up the field to build a factory. Thumbelina is angry. Crisella and Janessa fly back to the field to warn the others. Thumbelina stays. She wants to try to stop Makina's parents. At the field, Twiller bees work hard. They use their magic to make vines grow all over the trucks. The field is safe for one more day. Thumbelina asks Makina to help save the field. Makina agrees. She asks her parents not to build a factory. They love Makina, but they are busy. They do not listen to her. Thumbelina finds an old drawing. It shows Makina's family. Later, Makina gives Thumbelina a makeover. Now they are best friends. Thumbelina makes a garden for her friend. It is just like the one in the drawing. Makina loves it. Then, Makina's friend Violet comes over. Thumbelina thinks Makina just wants to show her off. Her feelings are hurt. She flies home. Makina bikes to the Twillerby field. She says Thumbelina is her only true friend. She wants to help save the field. Thumbelina has a plan. At Makina's house, the Twillerbees make the garden even better. Makina leads her parents to the garden. She tells them about the Twillerbees. This time, they listen. The family rushes to the field. Makina stands in front of the trucks. The work stops. The field is safe. The new friends enjoy the field together. It is a perfect day for a picnic. The end.